anybody else or is it just it's just me for old time's sake here we are hi everybody and welcome to welcome back to my channel i feel like i haven't said that in so long oh my god if you're new here hi my name is Ali. i'm 21 years old and i used to do these types of videos all the time but if you're returning you already knew this you know the jam you know what's going on so you guys read the title today i'm going to be doing a long awaited and highly requested hygiene routine because i posted a hygiene shopping video about two months ago at the point of uploading this and i asked you guys in the video if you guys want a hygiene routine because i feel like it would be cool to showcase how i actually use all these products that I buy because people think I'm lying that I don't use this stuff so here I am going to show you how I utilize them and why I like these things I split this video up into about four to five parts and each part is gonna be a different routine now I feel like hygiene also takes part outside of the shower although I'm showing you my daily and weekly shower routines and my everything shower that I do when it's needed I'm also gonna be showing you my hair care and oral routine because you guys always ask me about my hair care routine for one and for two I've had a lot of teeth changes and you guys know I had braces literally for like a decade feels like a decade it was like four years i'm being dramatic but my teeth went under a lot of changes since my last hygiene routine so i'm gonna discuss that in this video i'm not gonna talk any more about that let's just get right into it i'm just gonna say right now i'm not one of those people who are like the hygiene police you do what you do for you this is just what i like to personally do so with that being said i'm going to start out with something very easy we're going to discuss my daily shower routine first i'm gonna say first and foremost before i show you my routine i actually do this routine every day at least once a day i am one of those people who showers every day i'm sorry i know that's like controversial over there on the big blue twitter forward slash x app or website whatever you use so without further ado here's my daily shower routine i filmed it in the shower with y'all since it's real intimate real it's real personal so to start off my daily shower routine i always start by washing my face now my skincare routine is very simple i'll be going over that shortly after this but just know it's strictly the rouge for a reason because they are them girls after I wash my face, I go ahead and do my sensitive lady parts if you're picking up what I'm putting down using some sort of sensitive soap. I usually use a baby soap by like Dove or something like that, but I didn't have any so I just went just regular beauty bar today. Of course, I have to start my body routine off with Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap because when I tell you, you'll be feeling cool and clean as a whistle. I literally mean it. This is probably one of the best cleansing soaps I've ever used. It makes you feel so fresh and so clean, especially this peppermint one. If you know, you absolutely know. Then I follow up with my first treatment or just like my treatment body washes. Today I'm using this Natrium Vitamin C one for brightening skin. After I do my treatments, I go in with a body wash strictly for scents because this is where we actually start locking in these smell good, savory things. And then I close this off with a Dove body polish. Without this body polish, you would smell like nothing literally all day. So this is the actual key to smelling good all day. It's a Dove body polish. So if you try it and see what I'm talking about, just thank me later because I know I'm right. After I'm done bathing, I actually get out the shower and go ahead and start working on my moisturizing routine. This involves two simple lotions. I just like to use the La Rouge Pousse Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream along with the EOS 24 Hour Moisture Shea Better Lotion. I usually use the EOS for scent specifically and then the La Rouge specifically for moisturizing and that's it for my body routine. Okay, so with that being said, that was my daily shower routine. I buy a lot of hygiene products, and although I'm not showing every single one in this video because there's new ones I've tried, products I forgot about that I just don't remember to say in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorites that I use. Y'all know I have so many favorite body washes, but I am deciding to keep it calm, collected, and cute. Probably gonna limit it to like three or four because everybody has different scent preferences, brand preferences. If you used to watch my hygiene routines, you would know that I literally used to name off like 10 body washes. For what? So an all-time favorite body wash of mine is this Olay body wash. I don't have any right now in my grasp because I need to use what I have first. But y'all know, I've been talking about this body wash for years. I kid you not, I've been talking about it for years because it smells so damn good. I will say the one thing with this body wash, the scent does not last on your skin as much as I've noticed other body washes. No shade. So if you want something that lasts a little bit longer, I definitely, definitely recommend the Kapari Coconut Hydrating Body Wash. They sent me this in PR. They're not paying me to say this, but they sent it to me in PR and their PR is working because here I am liking the product that they sent me and showing it to y'all. So this is actually really good and the scent lasts all day, especially if you pair it with the Kapari Whipped Body Butter. I use this over the summer and I've been struggling to find it in my Ulta because it's always sold out. So I need y'all to 
take it back a little bit. Another Fair Body Wash Mine that smells good, Native. Anything by Native, I have to live and die by their body wash. I personally love the Native Coconut Body Wash. It's in my shower, but I don't have it with me right now. And as you could tell, I've been really loving like coconut, vanilla, like esque scents recently. I feel like coconut and vanilla, they just scream like super clean and cleanly to me. So I think that's why I've been gravitating towards it more, but it also screams very much like warm, soothing feeling. After I finish my daily shower, I like to go in with the Dove Body Polish, y'all know that, but I just wanna say I wanna also shout out to the Dove Brown Sugar and Coconut Butter Body Polish. This stuff is literally amazing, love. I love this one so much. The actual exfoliating parts in this one are a little bit chunkier than the rice water or rice milk one. If you want more of like a gritty one, I definitely recommend that one. It smells super sweet. So my oral care routine on a daily basis has definitely changed a lot. I used to use a lot of like really whitening products and stripping and all, it was, was too much, okay? Over the past couple months, I've been noticing issues with my teeth with super strong products. So I really like moved away from very like strong and stripping products that involve like alcohol and other chemicals and really just brought it down to like the basics. And it's honestly not by choice. I really just need to do it because I don't wanna have an allergic reaction every single night or every single morning that I brush my teeth. I still whiten my teeth occasionally, but since I've made the changes that I've made to my oral care routine, I've noticed that I haven't need to like whiten my teeth as much as I used to, if that makes sense. I think honestly the thing that's made the biggest difference for my hygiene routine orally is getting a vibrating toothbrush you guys know i worked with philip sonicare over on my tiktok you should follow me there because i'll be posting hygiene videos here and there my teeth and like health has been so much better since switching from a manual like toothbrush to an electric one. I don't know what the science is or what it is, but I feel like my teeth are just a lot healthier. And the more I got consistent with my like newer oral care routine, I noticed the healthier and better my teeth felt and looked. Now my daily oral care routine has been simplified so much. If you used to watch my old hygiene routines, these are the things that I use on a daily basis. I usually go in with a mouthwash first to loosen up anything that's in my teeth. After that, I head in with my Aura Bread tongue brush just to clean my tongue and sometimes I'll add toothpaste, sometimes I don't. Now, if I was showing you the nighttime version of this, this is when I would go in and floss after I finish cleaning my tongue. But since I showed my morning version of this, I didn't do that because I do floss at night strictly because that's what my orthodontist advised me. And then, of course, I go in with my Philips One Sonicare electric toothbrush with the two minute timer to make sure I'm hitting my two minutes. And that's it, my teeth are clean. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. I recently just started wearing my retainers again. It's been six months. I didn't know where my retainers were for six months, but I found them, cleaned them off, popped them in. I can't put my top one in right now because I have a tooth gem, so I have to get it taken off if I wanna wear it. That retainer routine still remains exactly the same. I still use the exact same retainer cleaner, the same method, do that about once a week to keep them fresh. And then I clean them on a daily basis with my toothbrush because that's what my orthodontist told me to do to keep them fresh. Nobody wants funky retainers stinking up the bathroom. Moving on to my daily skincare routine. My skincare routine totals about four steps and it always starts with this glycolic acid serum from La Rouge Pousset. It's honestly amazing, very gentle, and glycolic acid will always be famous in this house. Then I go in with my La Rouge Pousset mattifying moisturizer because as a girl with oily slash combo skin, I already be looking like a grease ball half the time, so why amplify that with a very oily moisturizer, which is why I love this one because it does the total opposite. After I work that in, since it is the morning, I'm going in with a SPF by La Rouge. This is more of like a SPF moisturizer instead of a SPF like non-moisturizer. It's more of like a moisturizer with SPF in it. I do in fact use a different SPF before this video ends, so I'll show you my other favorite. But since we're talking about skin and like my face, I go ahead and clean my ears when needed. And then of course I go in with some deodorant. I don't always use spray deodorant. Sometimes I'll go in with the stick as you will see in the other part of this video, but today I decided to. And of course it is a Dove spray deodorant. And then of course it's time to put my clothes on, nothing crazy, okay? Of course, come on Renaissance merch. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Now it's time to apply perfume because hello, that's going on my skin. So I count this as skincare and then I'm good for the day. So I recently have been playing with any new skincare, so I don't really have any more recommendations on the skincare front of this video. Since I don't have any more skincare recommendations, I'm gonna tell you what I've noticed about my skin recently since kind of like making my daily routine a lot simpler. I literally dumbed my routine down to cleanser, treatment, moisturizer, SPF. And even then, I be leaving the treatment out sometimes. So sometimes it's literally just cleanser, moisturizer, SPF, and I don't use the SPF till the morning. I have moved from watching 
washing my face twice a day to once a day and that's at night and when I tell you I wake up put my SPF on my skin has never looked better I have people constantly ask me do you have makeup on what do you have on what do you have on nothing it's just because I literally went from the mindset where I need to have 5,000 things treating my skin because these are the issues that I have to just moving to one good thing and that just being it and it's made the biggest difference when I tell you my skin has never felt softer more taken care of and I can honestly get to the point where my skin is so like simplified if I stop my skincare routine for like a day or two it won't freak out like it used to that's how simple and adjusted my skin has gotten to my new skincare routine it, my skincare routine is completely the rouge pousse you guys know this because they're so good to me I really made my skin like my daily skincare routine a lot easier in my opinion and I I absolutely love it. I'm gonna talk about my favorite deodorants here because I haven't fully moved into spray deodorants. I still use a mix of stick and spray but they're all from like the same two lines. Dove. So right now I have two Dove um, Advanced Care deodorants. This is the Dry Spray Go Fresh Cool Essentials and this is the Dry Spray Nourish Beauty. I think this one does extra moisturizing and it just smells like very basic and powdery and then this one has more of like a cucumber cooling relaxing type of smell to it i really like deodorants that smell like something because it just adds an extra like layer to what's going on i also really love the dove ultimate dry spray ultra dry feel tripper moisturizer technology with coconut and sandalwood scents never beating those coconut and vanilla girl allegations this one i really love on a more like summer every day and then these i'll probably use on more like a fall winter day because this one feels super drying and I feel like in the summertime it's really important to have dry deodorant because if not you're gonna sweat it off so that's what this is for I use it on a day to like a day-to-day -day basis anyway when I feel like it but I just feel like it's super good in the summertime because it's like a super dry feel then finally this is my industrial spray deodorant and then my stick deodorant of course these are the degree deodorants this is the degree ultra clear black and white anti-white marks and yellow stains dry spray this is also 72 hours of pure clean and then this is the deodorant the deodorant this is the degree of motion sense shower clean invisible solid so if i know i'm going to carowinds or six flags i'm putting one of these on if i know i'm going to the beach i'm putting one of these on as much as i wish i could transform to a gel girly i'm scared i personally just watch where i put my pits before i put my clothes on or i put my deodorant on after i put my clothes on just to like avoid the white stains on the shirts but even if i could just get a baby wipe and like wipe it off like duh now i worked with these deodorant like brands because like i genuinely use them on tiktok a lot of people are like oh my god why are you putting that on on your body we get it there's cancerous material in deodorants oh my god we're going to die anyway but i might as well die smelling good and not like i haven't bathed in 72 months i live in america the fda does not care about us and the amount of stuff that's in every other thing that we consume what is me changing my deodorant gonna do nothing <laughs> that's why i use anti-perspirant deodorant now that my kind of daily routine is done i am here to say let's talk about the weekly routine probably like every week week and a half two week type of thing I kind of do this based on need this is like the over the top everything shower I mean we're exfoliating we're shaving we're washing hair doing the mask it's all of it like you definitely want a robe for this type of shower and or night because everything showers are a lot you literally step out the shower you're light heady feel like you're gonna faint it's so hot you're but you're smooth and your hair is clean so in order to start off my everything shower routine I'm going to go ahead and show you just the entire full out like from hair care to body care all that and then we'll discuss products and all that after the fact so here is my everything shower routine now i'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you this part of the video is gonna be mad long we're gonna start this off with my hair care routine in order to prep my hair for wash day i like to go in with two conditioning sort of products i'm gonna be using this conditioner and the mask that i showed you to soften up my hair because i am in fact a detangle before washing type of girly my hair was going through it i had a slick bun in for like two not two weeks or like a week and a half before this so as you can see my ends are screaming for help the suave conditioner is honestly amazing for this alone but i want to try a new hair mask today so that's what we did you guys will see my hair like results later but detangling my hair pre-shampoo and detangling multiple times throughout my wash day is just such a lifesaver because my hair is on the finer side it's so easy for it to get tangled up with all the moving around and all that so detangling prior to shampooing has literally been a game changer i will say detangling my hair prior to shampooing probably takes the longest part of my entire wash day routine because i am detangling like a week plus work of not worth of knots and this is what my hair looks like after detangling it is definitely brought back to life already and i give all that credit to the suave conditioner
tell me why. I was sitting up here washing my hair. I shampooed my hair twice with my suave per usual. Y'all know me. I get up, check my camera to see if my angle's still good. Why was my camera off and dead? Never recorded it. And the camera died. But I shampooed my hair twice with suave. It's what it looks like post two rounds of shampoo. Suave, you will always be famous. Today, I'm gonna deep condition with the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask paired with the Suave Moisturizing Curl Conditioner because this literally brings my hair back to life. You saw how my hair looked before. This conditioner? We'll always be famous in this house. Since one of my main goals every single wash day is to put in and retain moisture because of having high porosity hair, I go in with the conditioner. I put in so much conditioning and moisturizing products in my hair because my hair is literally high porosity. If you don't know what that means, it basically means that my hair struggles to retain and maintain moisture at that. So if you ever see me reapplying the same products 10 times in boat loads of like product, that's literally why. If I did a better job at moisturizing my hair, my hair probably will be down to my ankles for real like you y'all won't be able to tell me nothing that 36 inch t-part middle bust down cotton candy 36 613 wig that would be my real hair but i don't be moisturizing my hair enough but i'm very much aware of the problem while the conditioner is freshly in my hair, I like to detangle my hair again because it's so fine and it detangles easily. You guys know this already. And then I just go ahead and clip it up, let it sit, and it's time to bathe. Let's get into my everything shower. Now, of course, we have to start off with the Dr. Bronner's because I don't know if I mentioned this already, but what basically I do to my face, I do to my body, which is why I have these simple steps of cleansing, treating, moisturizing, and sealing. That's why I always start my showers off with Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap as my cleansing step in my body care routine following up with some sort of treatment. Once again, I went in with two treatments today. Same thing as before. I used the Natrium Brightening Vitamin C. Babe, summer is done. Basically, we're officially looking into fall, but that doesn't mean my skin has to be dull, sad, and dry, which is why I go in with the Dove Body Love Moisturizing Body Wash. This stuff literally has crack in it. As the fall and winter months approaches, I will be using this a lot more because I hate having dry skin. Now it's time to seal. I like to use any type of really good smelling body body wash to seal all the cleanliness together this kapari one that i'm using right here the smell actually lasts really 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 long which i wasn't expecting the first couple times i used it it's honestly amazing so thank you kapari i don't know how your team found me and sent me this in pr but i definitely will be rebuying because it just adds a whole new level of coconut wash in my opinion it's time to tackle my shave routine i feel like i haven't talked about my shave routine in forever but y'all know i have in fact gotten laser in my day but that doesn't mean the hair stopped completely growing basically only have three Three tools for this entire thing which is shave cream scrub and a razor and that's it now my underarm looks really irritated here but it's simply because i was harassing the hell out of it like i really didn't have to be that rough but it fades away and as you can see i get a very clean shave because i do in fact use a men's razor specifically a chic moisturizing hydro sensitive i don't know the exact thing but of course it'll be on the screen for y'all Of course, I do the same thing to my legs that I do to my underarms because that's just my shaving routine. Once again, exfoliating, shaving, exfoliating. And of course, using that EOS shaving cream because it's obviously amazing. I've been raving about that for years, but I have the vanilla scent right now. It's actually one of my favorites. I have all three of them, but I'm just using the vanilla right now. If you ever wanna get into them, vanilla, you can never go wrong. I feel like there's no specific way to properly shave besides going against the grain and having a really good razor. So the newer the razor blade or the razor, the closer the the shave you're gonna get. And I go in finally by washing my face. This routine order isn't 100% in the exact order in which I do it every single time, but I definitely just do it in the order I want. This is just the order I did it today. So after doing all that, my hair has officially been sitting in the mask for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out while I'm in the shower. Now, y'all know I hate hair, so this takes a lot for me to do every single time I do it. But after that, I just wring my hair out, throw a t-shirt on, and get out the shower. And just like my daily shower routine, I go ahead and use the exact same lotions because they are a favorite. These are honestly amazing. I will ride and die for these lotions always. Thank you. 
now it's time to tackle my hair as you can see i'm not that excited to do it i'm never truly excited to do my hair just because it's i don't like hair like i don't like the feeling of hair on me but let's see how good my hair looks after this wash are you kidding i literally have the best products in the world my hair looks so excellent when you take off that first top layer of frizziness baby you can't beat it i mean even then it still looks good like hello i go ahead and clip my hair up because i'm just not mentally emotionally and ready to do it and i like my hair to be a little bit drier before i start doing it i go ahead and apply some deodorant nothing crazy throw on a shirt and now it's time to tackle it because i can't stall anymore my goals for my hair is to always remain moisturized that's why i use the conditioner from the suave professionals line as well as the leave-in conditioner because my hair does in fact get that dry i like to use regular conditioner as leave-in conditioner because it's heavier and it smells excellent i mean this entire line smells excellent but the conditioner in my opinion smells extra excellent and it also has a little bit of weight it's definitely a lot heavier than the leave-in conditioner so i think that's a lot better for my curls Next, it's time to define my curl. So I use the Suave Curl Defining Cream. This is also a heavier product in my opinion. It's definitely not as heavy as like a mask. It's definitely just curl defining cream. And I love this stuff. It's very lightweight, but also has enough weight to where it holds my curls down and together. And of course, I use the Dew Texture Foam. Y'all know I would not be a curly-headed girly if I didn't use this. It's honestly one of the best mousses I've ever used. I used to be hesitant about using mousse in my hair because it made my hair so crunchy. But this will always be famous. This has converted me to a mousse girly. So then I just go ahead and do the exact same things that I just did to one side of my head to the other because I do in fact style my hair in halves. And you know the process from here. And something I've recently started doing is going in on my frizzy pieces and using leave-in conditioner or mousse to fix them if I feel like they don't look right or they're not sitting right and I go in and twist them. I go in with the exact same products that I do for my daily skincare routine. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. Sometimes I'll do a face mask with my everything showers because they're usually on a weekly basis. Most of the time I don't and I didn't want to sit up here and lie to you for aesthetics and just to make it seem like I do a lot when I really don't. I really keep my skincare super duper simple. The only thing that's different from this portion to the one that I showed you before is that I used a different SPF. Now the SPF I use right here is pretty much a lighter consistency compared to the one that I use earlier and this is honestly my preferred one Just anything that's lighter and weight on my oily to combo skin the better now we're looking at my hair as you can see it's soaked up so much of that product i kid you not it's probably been about 15 minutes between me putting the product in my hair to now so obviously my hair was super thirsty and before i start diffusing my hair i give myself a little bit of time for my hair to soak up all the product as you can see my hair soaked up a bit a big portion of that and then i go in with a diffuser now i don't know why this didn't record but i blow dried my roots completely first and that is honestly the key to diffusing and after those are dry about 90 percent i'll say i go in and start scrunching to get some more curl definition i noticed after wash day my hair lacks a lot of volume and it's very troublesome because i like my hair to be big it's kind of like my thing i have a leo rising we're known for big hair whatever um leos in general are known for really big hair and really magnificent here so i like to go in with a blow dryer and just blow dry my roots for more volume and my ends to make them puff up and then once again i go over my hair if i see a few frizzy spots with some mousse and i'm done <laughs> Did I do something? I think I did something. Every time I have an everything shower, I just feel like I conquered the world because honestly, it doesn't seem like a lot. When you think about the heat that goes into your head, how often you're twisting and turning and rubbing and scrubbing and all of that, it's a lot of work. It gives hit workout. That's a little dramatic, but it gives hit workout in my mind because I'm not a workout girly, at least not yet. Let's debrief. Goals of my everything showers do include cleansing, softening, and moisturizing. I will say that's probably be like a everyday type of thing cleansing moisturizing and softening but i feel like on the weekly like routine in my everything shower it's like heightened that's why um i use a little bit more products when i do my everything shower my everything shower usually takes about five to eight steps but once again this is not an everyday thing i do some of these things like as needed so like for example i don't wait a whole week to shave my legs and underarms if i don't want to mm -mm, no i do that when i want I include it in the video because i noticed that i do it more during these showers so that's why i included it here but i will say i do in fact do those when i feel need be this is the shower where i do my shaving routine yes it is my shaving routine 
yeah. unpopular opinion i think shaving's fun i think it's satisfying and i think it's a good time i use the very famous eo shave cream because one it's good two it's affordable and three it smells good as hell if you've never had the opportunity to smell that shave cream bless your heart but something i actually like more than the traditional one it's still by eos but it's the eos dry skin shave cream anything that's marketed to dry skin I'm going to pick it up. Y'all know I care about moisture. Well, now you know because I told you in this video. But y'all know I care about moisture a lot. So anything that's marketed towards dry skin is overly moisturizing, which is why my skin be feeling and looking the way it does because I'm constantly moisturizing it through body washes, shaving creams, lotions, all of that. All of that. If you have dry skin or are looking for a more moisturizing shave cream than the EOS one, even though that one's really moisturizing in itself, but if you want that's marketed towards dry skin, I'll definitely try that one. And those are my two favorites. I kind of only ever really gotten into those. I've tried other shave creams before, but the EOS really just stuck with me and they've just remained the best to me personally. If you're more interested in like my hair care routine and like what I look like on a daily basis with my hair, I'm gonna link my week in my curly hair vlog that I did like a few months ago. It's still very like you know pretty on par i've added a very few amount of things to it but i will say it's still very like accurate to like what's going on so if you want to check that out definitely check it out i love that video it's so fun but my hair care routine has been the same for so long i think this is the longest time i've ever had this or a hair care routine remain the same for as long as it has and let me just say it's for good reason every product that i showed in this video i absolutely ride and die for now i didn't include every single one of my favorites in this video like i said before when it comes to hair care so i'm just gonna shoot off the dome real quick one of my favorite hair mask and hair products love 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 the living proof shampoo conditioner curl cream leave-in conditioner and defining gel when i tell you when i do have that line i get so many good compliments i get compliments especially now but even when i use the living proof it's really 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 good like really good i also love the briogeo i think it's their tea tree exfoliating shampoo so basically what you use it for is you just use it to exfoliate and get rid of build up via like mask shampoo it's really good probably about once a month just because you should always be detoxifying your hair listen shampoo can only do so much if you're interested in trying any of those you know the names i have the links i get commission but you don't have to get it if you don't want to so we'll say the briogeo and the living proof is more on the expensive side so just a heads up i don't want y'all thinking like oh she's only promoting like bigger price products because she wants commission da -da -da. it's because i genuinely like them and if that's like within your budget for hair stuff i definitely would try so before we end this video i want to go ahead and give you some of my favorite scent combinations i have about three of them because these have just been my go-to and quite frankly i don't smell stuff enough to like try to combine stuff 24 7 because what i know is what i buy no shade but i'm not the best at trying this stuff i have three scent combos for you here on my ipad the first one is any coconut salt plus the brown dove body polish is amazing dove body polish the coconut body polish that i showed you is coconutty and it has like a very sweet undertone so any coconut soap such as the like uh olay coconut which smells really good the native coconut or just anything like that smells excellent together and i feel like the body polish really just does a great job it's buffing out anything that you have on your skin and honestly i think this is the key that makes me smell good all day because every time i do this in the morning i literally smell good all day and get compliments all day so dove body polish this routine would be nothing without you next i absolutely adore pink method soap <laughs> surprisingly and the dove rice polish i don't know what this does to me but it just gives me very like flowery and fresh if that's your type of thing i love the pink method with the dove rice body polish and of course you can lock all this in with your favorite scented lotions or unscented lotion if you don't want the scented lotion to mask up what you just did but i love that combo it's really good coconut soap and eos vanilla lotion anything that lotion smells so damn good it makes no sense every time i take a shower get in the bed i always feel amazing i smell amazing i can smell myself it's so good but it's so subtle definitely when you walk past someone when you have that on they'll definitely be like oh they smell good. They definitely do that type of thing. A double take, if you will. So with that being said, everybody, that is my current hygiene routines. I'm so glad you guys were so interested in this video. I'm getting back into filming sit down. So I'm just gonna say this right here. If you guys have any requests for sit down videos, make sure you let me know because I'd be more than happy to integrate them more in between my lifestyle vlogs. So if you guys like the video, please get a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and let me know your hygiene routine or any product recommendations that you personally have. Make sure you comment this emoji to let me know you stayed at the end of the video. And yeah, that is it for today video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you on the next one bye everybody